So I just put a little bit of a blue background on there. And um, so we're going to use our magic paint in this video. So I can show you how it works with doing a painting. So all you need today for this painting that we're going to do is your uh, primary colors of red, yellow, and blue, and some green and brown and some white, and you can put some black on there too um, if you want. These have really nice bristles and they're great for your trees and your bushes, and this is going to be used for your background, okay? And then we have a flat synthetic brush, chiseled edge, and I have a flat um, a filbert brush, which is a chiseled edge and synthetic. And I also have a liner brush. I'll leave the link to how to make your magic paint and that way you can go to look at that video and then come back to this one so you'll know how to paint this one with using your magic paint. So we have a nice blue background, but I want to be able to have a bit of a shade down here where uh, it's sitting on, okay? So I'm just going to use my regular paint. So I'm just going to use my regular paint. Nothing added to it. I'm just going to kind of create a could be like a table or just have something for for the chair to sit on okay there we go if you're having a hard time moving it just to use a, maybe you can use a little bit of mist magic mist you don't need much a little bit that's all just enough to get it to move so they all come handy once you get all these then you'll be able to use them in different parts of your painting because you don't want to you may not want to use you may not want to use the whole canvas with magic white you know so you just want to use parts of it so the parts that are having a hard time moving good See how much better that moves? That's much better there now. Even just that little part here was kind of hard to move, so so it certainly comes in handy. Magic mist, magic white, magic paint. <laughs> so I'm just putting that up here to just have something there for it to sit on for now. I might change it, I don't know. I'm just going to put some white paint on my brush and blend that a bit better here. See? Just blend it in so that it's not a hard edge there. I'm going to go back down in here. It's coming up here. Just so I can have something for it to sit on, that's all. I could change that. I might change it to grass. I don't know yet. Okay, so we just put some background on there and we could change it up a little bit later, but I kind of like the blue background, the little blue background. I want to fill this space up with our flowers, okay? So I'm thinking maybe I'll leave all this space up here for flowers and I'll bring the pot down here. So I'm thinking, so I'm using a pastel stick because chalk, I can't get it to, uh, you can't see it. So you use chalk because I find these are harder to come off when you if you don't like something so we're going to do that and then we're going to put a dot here and a dot here because it depends on how big you want it I want it to be kind of like trying to make it as big as I can so you can see lots of flowers too so we'll go down like this and we'll come around like that nice and big and then we're going to put a little handle on it 
whoops, little handle. So you can make that into a... So don't worry about too much right now. You can even use a pattern if you want to. Maybe I can get a pattern for you. And then you got this coming up here, like that. But it's pretty simple. I like to try and do things sometimes so that you can do freehand. That should come out this way, okay? Out this way, not that way. <laughs> and then we will go around here like this. That's the spout. Maybe there's a little bit of a top there. It's nice and big, isn't it? Too big? <laughs> Okay, so, then you're going to have flowers all in here. So now we just make a decision how. So what we're going to do, everything else was done with just regular paint. We're going to do this today so I can show you how to use your magic paint that we made. So I made magic paint, okay? So now you can make a little bit at a time or you can make a batch. So, because it'll stay wet longer, so it doesn't matter. So, I'm going to show you one more time how to make it. But you can go back to my video and look at how I made it in more detail. But right now, I'm just going to tell you how I made it. And then you can mix it together and then have it in a batch. So, all I did was, all I did was I put my paint on there. My yellow, green, blue, red, whatever colors you want. And then I added equal amounts of my professional slow dry blending gel. You don't have to use this brand in particular. You can use whatever brand works for you or whatever you have in hand. But it has to be gel, right? It has to be thick. Thick gel, not the liquid one, okay? Nice and thick, all right? And so you take, scoop that out, equal amounts for each amount of paint you're using, and then you use that and you can also add white to it. Now I went into a lot of detail in my other video. I, I suggest that you watch that one first because I want to do the flowers and do this here and uh, not spend so much time on showing you how to mix it because I already have a video done on that for you. Now we can use our green. So use a flat brush and we will paint this just green first. Now this is the paint, this is the magic paint, okay? Magic paint. And it's magic because it stays wet longer and it glides easier and you don't have to use as much paint. Something like the magic white that we use when we add that. But we don't need to add magic white to this because we're going to have magic paint. And that will be easier to work with. Now. Nice. So it's nice and it's got a nice feel to it. It's nice and smooth. It's going on nice and smooth. Don't need as much paint. Nice. You get a better shape to your tin can if you decide you want it smaller, just take that line and bring it down here instead. I'm going to leave mine big like that. I like it. Doesn't matter too much about the top. The flowers are going to cover that up. Good. You'll be able to walk. Uh, you'll be able to wipe away those marks, those chalk marks, when you are finished. Good. Now, you can also add, add some blue to your green to get a darker color so you can get kind of a shadowy color over here. Might look funny now, but we're just getting started. Marvelous. Okay. 
I might send you a pattern because I think it'd be easier. That's just to get it started, so we'll work on that after. I'm going to add white and just add some up here, but with white added because I want to just make sure I get that top of a bit of white in there. And like I said, you can see it's kind of funny, but I just want to get it started. Good. We'll add some little something going on there. I'm not sure yet. Now let's make some leaves and we'll put the flowers on top of the leaves. So I'm just going to take my paint, this is the magic paint, and I'm going to uh, add some, this is also the magic yellow, okay, add some of that to it too, I'm just not even totally mixing it. And I'm just going to make some leaves, just this is a flat brush and you just touch, pull in like that, see, see those leaves? They're pretty. See, just touch and pull back, touch and pull back, touch and pull back. Pick up some more. So you put in as many as you want. Put in as many as you want. Especially hanging down over there. I probably should have made this a light. I'm going to straighten that up after, but uh, green on green. <laughs> you might need a bit more yellow into your paint in order to be able to see it more. So lighter, lighter colors just so that we can get some of these nice, right? Some smaller ones, some big ones. So you, all you got to do is just not push as hard. All right. Have some of them coming down here. We'll put, we'll be adding more. All I want to do right now is find out what way I want this to work. Okay? So I'm not really sure yet. You can look at a reference photo all you want, but you still want to make up your mind on what way you want to do things. Okay? So I'm just touching, touching on the chiseled edge, touching on the chiseled edge. See, so I got a chiseled edge. Okay? And then I touch on the chiseled edge and then I sit back. Touch, sit back. Touch, sit back. Because the top of the brush will give you that nice pointy look to your leaves. Okay. Already that's cute, isn't it? So, probably should have went that way instead. <laughs> So, let's get a smaller flat brush to make smaller leaves, all right? So smaller leaves, smaller flat brush. All right, so I'm going to try this one. Add the yellow. I'll make smaller leaves. I'm not pushing as hard. I'm touching and lifting, all right, to get those really tiny ones. See? Touch, sit back. Hard to stop when you're doing this. So cute. So that should be enough for now. Some more yellow ones here. Isn't that pretty already? Oh, you're adding lots of flowers there. Okay, we need a couple more on top. Depends on how high you want to go. I don't want to overdo it. So I'm afraid then I'll end up... It won't look right. Flowers will go all around here, plus inside too. So I think that might be enough. If we need more, we can always add more after the flowers are done, correct? Okay, so far so good. You can still use a small flat brush. And what we'll do is we'll pick up some colors. Let's pick up red. 
magic red and we will put flowers in places where we want them so maybe we'll just put a flower here we'll worry about the shape after all right one here maybe one here so put your red ones wherever you want them first and then we'll try some yellow ones what I'm going to do is I'm going to keep my red and I'm going to add a little bit of magic orange to it and I am going to add a couple of orangey ones. I see, yeah, there we go. Like I said, this is just to uh, find out where we want our flowers, okay? So they're not, not worrying about shapes right now. Add more yellow. Lots of yellow, look. Now I know you don't need to use as much paint. And this is nice and thick too, it's really thick. But it, when you're doing flowers, it's nice to have it thick. Nice. It's all wet, so it'll blend really pretty. Now I'm going to clean my brush. And I'm going to just pick up my yellow. Picking up my yellow. Look how nice and thick that is. It's fantastic. I'm just going to add some more yellow flowers. Just pick up yellow. I think I'm going to add a little bit of white too. My white is just normal white. There's no, just no magic in the white. Makes it nice and bright too, see? Lots of pretty flowers going on there. White and yellow. Just some white where you want. We don't know yet what we're doing. We're just putting in white and yellow and white. All right, so we're just getting some idea of where we want the flowers. That's all. Some flowers there, flowers here, some little dots of flowers here. See, already it's starting to look pretty, isn't it? Good. Nice. So I'm just going to keep adding some colors to my paint painting. So as you can see these are pretty wet, okay? It's wet. So I'm just touching to make shapes but not much of anything right now. Just where I want the flowers to go and then I'll worry about I'll worry about all that after. I do my little dots down here. And what I like to do now is make some stems. So I'm going to use a, a liner brush it in water. And I'm going to take a darker color like a dark green so I'll put blue and green together and make a dark green. Makes a nice dark green. And then I'm going to make some some of these nice for the flowers for the leaves to hang off of. Hanging out. Good. Just little stems, so it looks like they're hanging off stems. Might put some more flowers under here. Not sure. Sometimes I like to do paintings where I'm not really, I'm just kind of working 
as I go along just to see how it will turn out. I could be looking at a reference photo. I'm looking at a reference photo actually. But I'm not using it to the, to the hilt. So you can use a reference photo or you can just make it up on your own. There we go. These are kind of nice. They kind of make give it a more of a, a fuller look and a look that there's stems and different things going on. See, the more you add, the cuter it is, isn't it? I'm going to take a small brow, a brush, it could be small round, small flat, just something that you can work with. And I'm going to take my magic red and some magic green, and I'm going to make a magic brown. <laughs> make a brown, okay? More red. Kind of gives it a brownish look. That's a nice color. And I'm going to put that here and maybe one here and maybe one here little tops that will help us get the shapes and it's helping you learn how to mix your colors okay So you know that red and green can make a nice brown. Red and green, you could add a little bit of yellow. Change up the brown to another. Just adds a little more. A little blue. Yellow. So you can change up the colors by adding those colors. You don't get mud either, you know. It's really pretty. We'll go with some brown here, some brown here, just to give some kind of some idea where you want to put your centers, okay? So I'm going to take up some, clean my brush, And pick up some yellow, a little bit of white. Put the centers in these white ones here. Okay. Some centers. Centers are really a big help once you get them in there. All right, now we'll start making some shapes. Now, just get your small flat brush and pick up your red, a little bit of yellow on the corner, and then just pull in, just touch, pull in, touch, pull it towards the center. Some more yellow. These are nice because you can get these nice edges. See? See how the top of that brush gives that nice edge? But you can make any flowers you want. Don't worry about what I'm making if you don't want to. Just get some tips and ideas. I'm just using the corner of my brush and I'm pulling in. It's a cute little flower, isn't it? Look. So I'm just using the top of my brush with the yellow on it just to get those tips. Cute.
I like that. That's nice. And the other one, I'm going to add some red and then some yellow. Just kind of red and yellow on my brush like that. And I'm going to use the flat way. That way I use the tip of the brush to get those nice little edges. But this time, I think I'm just going to touch and pull in, touch and pull in, touch and pull in. Get more paint, more yellow, so I can get that edge there. And pull in, pull in. Just pull in like that, that's all. I have to use a bit of white with my yellow just to get it to, to brighten it up a bit so I can it's kind of nice it's kind of nice take a little bit from in here and pull it out to meet it up with that Now, it's a nice little flower too. It's not bad. It's not bad. So I'll do it again. A bit of red, yellow, mostly yellow. See if I can get a nice little, let's see, I'm going to use the tip of my brush again, this this one right here, like this, touch, something like you did with the leaves, touch and pull in, see? Alrighty then. And this one over here, same thing, I'm just putting some yellows and reds, and I'm going to figure out what kind of a flower. I'm just going to take my chisel edge, touch and pull in, touch and pull in, touch and pull in, touch touch, touch, and touch. How cute is that? So easy, isn't it? I like it. This one up here, I'm just going to do the same thing. I'm just going to touch and pull in, touch. Touch and pull in. Putting a little bit of white on the top there just to bring it out a bit. A little more red. That's kind of like a, isn't that cute? That's kind of like a, a, a tulip, isn't it? I'm going to add a little bit of yellow on top of that. Maybe a little bit of white too. I don't know. Just playing around. Sometimes I play around and I mess it up. See what I did? I messed it up. I'm going to blend that in with that a little bit more. <laughs> Sorry, that's a bit better. What else have we got here? Let's see. All right, so we got another little red one here. I'm just going to use my red and yellow. I like this one here. It looks nice. Touch and flip it in there. Touch and in. A bit more yellow. And I might put some out here too. I need a smaller brush because I'm, I'm using a bigger brush. So I'm going to have a little tiny one. So guys, always change your brushes when you need to, okay? Very tiny, just a tiny flat brush. I just want to see. I, I experiment with different brushes too because sometimes I can't get them to work no matter what I do. <laughs> sometimes they can be pretty stubborn. It's almost like a sunflower, isn't it? Maybe that's what we'll have, a sunflower. What's wrong with that? <laughs> sunflower! All right. I'm going to take some of that brown color that we made. And I already got that in here, don't I? Let's put some more in just to have it there. And then I'm going to take my flat brush again. 
small, a little bigger than what we're using there now. I'm going to take yellow and some white. There you are. Yellow and white. We make some nice little white flowers. Or just touch. 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 It's basically the same uh, technique that you're using for your leaves that you used here, right? Touch. Okay. Touch. Touch. A little bit of yellow and white and mostly white. Okay. Nice. Nice, nice. I'm overlapping the flowers too. Kind of looks nice. Put some more on there. How about here? Looks like a nice flower. I think I'll do a different one there. Let's see, let's see. I need some more center, so just make that brown paint that you made. And find a place where you want to add some center. So I got one there, one there, maybe another one here, here. It makes it so much easier for to make flowers when you get a center. So many centers are too bright, I can't see them, so I'm going to add a bit of dark to them so I can see where they are. Where else? Might want another flower. So wherever you think you might want another flower too, you can put centers in there. Big centers are good because you can see you can see them, and you can change the color of the centers if you don't like them. So not to worry. I don't know, I like to have lots of flowers, see? I want to have lots and lots of flowers, all colors. All right. So we'll have some more yellow and white. I think we're going to put some pink ones in there too, I think. I think pink would be nice, do you? Let's see what this looks like. Here, 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 here. More white than yellow. That'll give it an opaque look. That's so cool. Nice. I like that one there. I'm not going to touch that. It looks like kind of an old sunflower or something going on there. I want to get some pink flowers in there too in a little while. I'm going to add more white. And I'm going to add one here, here. I like the style that is coming out. It's kind of abstract, a little bit of an abstract look to it. You can do this with a, you can also do it with a, a knife and that way you'll get nice thick. Because we added the, because uh, we have the magic paint, it was nice and thick so it will stand up. So you can put that on the edge of your knife and, and add some really thick ones that, see? It'll stand right up, see? Some nice flowers that way. Look how bumpy they're coming out. Isn't that cool? That's nice. I like that. Isn't that cool? All these different types of flowers. I'm going to use a small filbert to get some of these white flowers with a more rounded edge. Touch. Touch. Flowers come in all shapes, shapes and sizes. See, now you got more of a, I will put a center in there, so it'll be okay. I like those white flowers, they're pretty too. You 
You can put a smaller one down here like this. Maybe some hanging down here like this. See the uh, the round edge gives you more of a rounded look to your flower. Like say this here. Touch pulling. Lots of weight. See? Those white ones are nice, aren't they? Huh? Mm. Let's see if we can go with pink. Take white and add it into your red. Lots of white into the red, because the red is very strong and um, because I have magic red, it's a little harder to get it to brighten up. So you need lots of white, lots and lots of white. All right. Maybe we'll put a pink one here. We'll put a center in that after. It's a nice pink one. We'll put it around this one here. I'm using more white than I am red. Just trying to get that to brighten up a bit. And where else can I put a pink one? Let's see. You have to look around and see what's empty spaced. Okay. Pink. How about we go pink with some white on the edge of the pink. And then we can just go randomly wherever we want them. Maybe there's one sticking out here. Look at that. Isn't that pretty? Boop. And there's one in here. Boop. We'll put like, you know, little stems on them and, and we'll put uh, centers on them and that they look more like flowers then, see? Yep. Couple in here. They can overlap each other. I'm just touching, tap, tap, tap almost. Okay. Another nice color might be a blue, maybe some blue. I'm just, my dirty brush, I'm just adding some blue. I'm gonna go white. See, just take advantage of your palette. Use all the colors you can find. Here's a blue one here. It's pretty, look at that. Just that simple, look, touch, touch, touch. Pretty. So I'm just gonna mix in all kinds of colors. Maybe add a little one back here. Just add a few fillers. Add some white. You get a nice brighter one. Some of these little ones just for just to add in so that it doesn't look empty. Right? Mixing up some different colors. Look at all those colors. <laughs> and a bit of green to it too. Let's see, maybe there's one hanging down here. Just pulling in two sides and I'll add some. Do you think we need more? Maybe there's one hanging down here. What do you think? All right.
was pretty. So let's clean up this edge here of this. Get some dark green paint. Just get some dark green paint on your chisel edge, small flat. All right, make it nice and dark by adding a bit of blue. Good. These are your magic paints. It's great to be able to work wet on wet, see? Because it all just blends so nicely. I'm just going to take the edge of that there. And I'm going to bring it around to the edge of here to clean it up. Right around, and I'm going to bring it around. Clean up that edge. Then I'm going to go with uh, uh, some white on that same color. So we're going to go green, dark green. I'll get some little bit more blue to add my green. I'm just going to see if I can straighten up that edge there. There we go. Oops. Oopsie daisies. And then we'll do the same with just adding blue and green together. A nice dark green. I'm just going to get this edge here. Get even darker by adding more blue. You could add burnt umber if you like. Look how it's gliding along, though, you don't have to worry about the paint drying up on you. It's wonderful. Magic paint. more shape down there. If you're having a hard time with this edge here, just put tape on it, on the edge. That will give you a straighter edge. Now I'm going to add more green here. I did make a mess there, but I'll clean that up. More blue. Really want to get that dark for shadows. Come to the edge of there. Look how nice and thick that paint is. Wow. Practically standing up. I'm going to I'm going to add a little bit of red to my paint. 
to give it some shadow. So red to the colors I made. Look how dark that's getting there now. And that will give you some shadow colors. See? Almost a deep purple. If you mess up too bad on that corner, you can always go back to the light blue and paint, put a bit of tape there and uh, then you can go over it again so that you can get straighten up the edge. It's not because you're working wet on wet. After you get as much done as you want, then you can dry it and then you can go over it with shadows and highlights and whatever else you want. Just going to darken up some of this here. I want to get some shadows in there. I'll put some highlight on that after. Now guys, don't try to make yours exactly like mine because I'm just doing it my way, all right? I'm doing it my way. And mistakes and all, all right? I'm doing it my way, mistakes and all. I'm telling you, right now, I'm making mistakes. There are no mistakes, they say. But I am not a perfectionist. I like being a little loose. I like painting and being free so I don't have to be worrying about oh is that line straight enough, is that paint dark enough is... I just want to do my own thing and enjoy it if I don't like it I will fix it I just want to put on the paint have some idea what color paints I want to put on you gotta, you gotta make sure you know some basics of course how to paint that will make it so much easier for you but as for being a perf perfect just use res reference photos as just for reference. As I go up, I'm going to get lighter and lighter, okay? So I'm going to add a lighter green. Add a little bit of yellow to my green. Bring it up a little bit. Get that edge there so I can wipe off that. Alright. Let's get a little lighter with some more yellow. Nice dark edge down there, isn't it? A little bit dark over here. Good. Now we have all those flowers here, so we've got to be very, very careful. So what are we going to do now? <laughs> I don't know. We could make a mess. We can make a real mess. So I'm going to go into white. I'm going to go into white and make my green really light green so I can sort of blend it in with what we already have there. That way, it will look like it's transitioning into what's up here. See? I think I'm going to go down this way. I don't like it that other way. See, I can change your mind. So I can change things around, change things to to be nice for you. I kind of like that better. Yeah, I like that better. I'm going to add some white to my brush, my dirty brush. Just put in some of these. Just to give it some kind of a shape. Some kind of interest. Come down here. It's an old tin can, so it doesn't have to be perfect. Good. Get that line there.
try and separate that there. That's not bad, I like that. See, I'm not being fussy. I'm just going to add some highlight to the edge of here. Where do you think the light is coming in? What do we think? Let's see, let's see, let's say the light is coming in through here. It's hitting off those flowers, hitting off the edge. Alright, so we'll just, it's hitting off the edge up here. Hitting off the edge up here. Okay. Hitting it off here a little bit. Maybe some here. Nice. Different, isn't it? <laughs> it's different. You can make whatever you want. Just hope you're learning a little bit from it, you know how much fun it can be. I'm going to put a shadow down here too, but I'm not worried about that right now. I just want to see what I can do with this. Let's see if I can get that dark. A little bit of a dark shadow here. Darken up my colors with my reds and blues. Whatever I can get and I don't know. Let's see. Let's see. Trying to get a little bit of an edge there. Just give it kind of like just some kind of an edge going on there, right? A little bit of shadow going up between those. Yeah, all these little things helps give it some interest, right? Interest. That's what you gotta look for. How do I make my painting look interesting? I don't know. Shadows, highlights. Shadows and highlights. Good. A little bit more highlight over here. Try to tone that down a small bit. Want to be overpowering either, right? A little bit of a highlight here to show that just an edge here. Now, what can we do with that top? Let's see, let's see. Let's add some white to our dirty brush. Add lots of white. And we will see if we can do something with this. Some blue and put a round edge on top. That would be the spout. Add some more white to that. And center here. Say oops. Okay, and then we will straighten that up a little bit. Let's go back into your dark paint, pick it up, and then just get that edge there. And we'll put some little dots or something there to show that there's some holes there. Maybe there's a white edge here. Now working with these magic paints is like working with oil paints. So it's going to be a little different for you. 
All right. It's going to be a little different, but you don't always have to do it this way. I got several different ways you can do it. That's better. That's better. Let's go drag that down so it looks like it's got a shape to it. See? up the edge here so that it look like it's more rounded. When I take out that mess I got made there, it will look so much better. So you're not sure about something, just keep going over it until you're happy. coming along isn't it? Alright. So all I'm doing here is just putting my pale blue back. Just add lots of white. Lots of white that will help brighten it up and get close to your blue. So I would suggest using chalk rather than the pastel because pastel is a little harder to get off. I'm learning that for sure. So, I made a mess. So I'm just going to use my flat brush again, chiseled edge, and I'm going to add black. Now sometimes you need to use black because you can't get it, you can't get it as black as you would like it. So I'm going to add black to some parts of it just to give it some finishing touches. up some of that black for shadow, see? A bit on the edge here. A bit on this edge here to straighten it out. See, that helps it bring it out a bit more. This will make contrast. So this will bring out the other colors. See how nice that makes it? Where else do we need it? A little bit down here. It 
So I couldn't get that edge before with the paint I was mixing together. So I just decided to try this. It's a nice shadowy look, see? Nice and deep. Nice and deep. And where else? Can you go a little bit on the edge here. A little bit down here. Now you don't have to do this. You don't have to. I just want to give you some ideas, things that you can do. Good. Just trying to actually get some contrast so that you can see the, the lighter colors will pop out more. They pop out more. So that's nice. And then we're just going to finish up the shadow around the bottom. So that so just get a flat brush and add some blue and red together. Get a purplish color. That's the colors I like to use for shadows. And um, I like, I like shadows. This light's coming in through here, so most of the shadow will be over here. I'm going to leave some spaces there for some light shining through. And then I'm going to add some blue on that side. Some blue with some white. Just look at me making a mess. Look at that. I don't know what's going to happen. <laughs> I don't know. I just like making a mess. So much fun, isn't it? Isn't it so much fun? As long as you know where the light is and you get your shapes and everything, you can do whatever you want. Look at that. I'm just making a real mess. Having fun. And you know why I'm having fun? Because I'm not worried about if it's perfect or what other people are going to think. Now I'm doing videos, but I'm also, so I also have to do, you know, good so that you guys can learn. But I'm also trying to teach you that you can do, do it so that you're having fun with it. Right? I don't want to be here saying, oh, you got to do it this way, and this has got to be perfect, or don't look any good. I don't want to do that to you. I want you to just take the process and go, oh, I can just throw that paint down any old way I want. As long as you get the shapes, as long as you get... It's, it's got to make some sense, right? Unless it's totally abstract. Even abstracts, to make them look nice, you got to put the proper colors together and everything. Right? I want to get it nice underneath here. So, you know, there's certain parts that you want it to look nice. Okay. Now you get all those purples and reds and blues going on there. And your, most of your shadows, we're, we're saying that the light is coming in from it looks like it's on the edges over here, so I'm thinking it might be coming over from the right, so that will bring the shadow more to the left here. And we can also add more white to it just to get some, I don't know, maybe some glow from, this, from the light going. Who knows, right? Might be some glow from the light. We're not there, so we don't know for sure. But I like it. I like it.
All right, so let's play around with the flowers just a little bit more and then we'll call it finished. So I'm thinking we need just some more, we need to touch up those nice little centers and um, I'm thinking we might need some more green leaves. So I'm gonna take some green, I'm gonna take some yellow and some purple. And I'm going to bang. Let's see, there's two and some red. Alright, so you can use just uh, red without the blending gel if you want because now we're at the end of it, all of it so we, we don't care if it dries faster now because we're at the end of it almost, right? So I'm just going to add some colors together. I'm just going to make some different color leaves coming down here. But if you want the green ones, just add more green, some white, and you'll get some green ones. Look how nice they are. Just touch, 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 touch. All kinds of flowers. That's a flower there, isn't it? Dab on some white on the edges here to bring it alive. And that's it for there. And we got that little blue purple one there. So I'm thinking now we can let's brighten them up a little bit. We want to fill in some spaces here. Just add some of these. Just touch in the, in the empty spaces. That's all. Just touch, touch, touch. Now, let's fix up those centers. So for the centers, we'll just add a bit of yellow, a bit of red, give it kind of an orangey effect. And you're going to use your liner brush. Use a really tiny round brush or a liner brush and just dab on a few little light taps, mostly yellow. All right? See? Just dab them on there like that. Okay? Add a little bit of white if they won't go bright enough. All right. Move it up this way. Nice. Little dab, little dab here, a little dab there, a little more white if you need it. A little more white to make it stand out. Just on your centers. Little dabs of white and yellow. A little tiny brush. That one there needs some more yellow, doesn't it? I put a little red center in there. It's kind of cute, isn't it? Just dip into my red and some white. Hmm. Hard to stop, isn't it? A bit here. Maybe there's one here. And do 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 do. <laughs> Help me, I can't stop. You can use a toothpick if it's easier for you. Because as you can see, sometimes I get to the spots and they are... Uh, I'm having a hard time getting them on there properly, so I'm going to use a toothpick. You'll get smaller ones, that way you won't have to struggle. See, you can get two tiny ones then, see? You need to put little tiny ones on top of the ones you already did, just to give it extra. All right. That looks good. Looking good. 
I think that's it, really. Um, what else do I want to do? I wanted to put some yellow over here, didn't I? So, you know, have a look around. Do some last-minute touch-ups, okay? Last-minute touch-ups. And um, that's all you need, it's just a few last-minute touch-ups. I want it yellow, didn't I? I'm putting red on there. It can be, it can be red. It can be whatever you want it to be. Yellow. Nice. Just tapping away at it. Might add a bit of white on top of it just to bring it out a bit more. Just tapping at it to get some kind of shape of a flower. I didn't think that last one would give me trouble, did you? But it still looks okay. It's like like some of these flowers are like almost faded. <laughs> we pretend. So that's good, that's good, that's good. I just, one last thing, as you know, I can't stop. I'm just taking a liner brush and I'm going to make a few more stems with my green. And so where do we think we need stems? It gotta look like they're, they're hanging off stems, right? stem somewhere. It's hanging from somewhere. Not falling in mid-air, is it? So, we can put a little bit of yellow on there too so you can see the edge of it there. There we go. That's better. So a few little stems here and there. Like we did before. So nice, isn't it, to be able to just relax, do what you want, do whatever you want, just have some fun, just whatever you want. I like these little, little wavy, they're cute, they kind of add to it, don't they? Just for decoration, that's all. That's all, you don't need to do anything. That's some cute. I like it. So that's it. It's nice, isn't it? Well, that's it. So um, now I showed you how to use magic. Uh, so now I showed you how to use the magic paint, and that helped us blend those colors and, and keep them all wet until we we're finished with them. And if you want to dry them sooner, you don't. You can use just your regular paint, but I just wanted to do a painting where I can show you how to do that.